trying to push the envelope they're they're right. using they're using vegetables they're using herbs they're using uh, you know really exotic uh, grains you mm -hmm. know that right you know, they're they're not using the, the stereotypical you know the standard four ingredients right. for beer so so what's next are they gonna are they just gonna continue to keep Wowing us I, with like I, I think the, weird and exotic ingredients. I think it will because or, one of the one of the beautiful things is and and the brewery has shown that they're willing to look at this is not just looking forward but also looking past. We, we've forgotten a lot of things about beer. Um, for instance, uh, their hot and raw beer. It's a, a, a sour beer. But it's really low alcohol, three point eight percent, but it's got a great flavor. But one of the things that they do actually at the brewery is they mix it with syrups, which was traditionally done with those yeah. kind of beer. Um, and so they'll mix it with uh, a, a raspberry syrup or a pomegranate syrup. And uh, there was another syrup that I cannot remember the name of for the life of me right at the moment, um, but I'd never heard of before. But So they're going back and they're researching the history right. and the origins of beer. And there's a lot, a lot of things. Uh, Back there that we don't know about. Um, when you when you think when you think about the history of beer, we, we've been drinking beer as humans for thousands and thousands of years, mm -hmm. and then prohibition came along and mm -hmm. fucked it all up for <laughs> this country. You know what I mean? Yes. Really, I think it that puts such a damper on the whole like creative side of beer. Everyone just like stopped it, you know. And then World War Two came along, and um, the troops were drinking these really light German beers or European lagers, so when they came back, that's kind of what they wanted. Well, so it was like, we're just gonna, we're just gonna mass, you know, produce all of this, you know, generic light lager because that's what everyone wants. But it's it actually, not what everyone no, wants. No, but it actually started well before that. The Anheuser Busch uh, and um, uh, uh, the Paps. Brewery, mm -hmm. Coors, yeah. um, Adolphus Coors, they started the, the, the domestic light lagers, the Bohemian lagers as they were right, called, right. in the early 1800s, and they did that in response to uh, the dark ales, or not ales, but the dark lagers. The English that, influence beers. Yeah, right. it, it's, it's, if we even go back further, the reason why lagers became so uh, associated with American beer is because after, after the Revolutionary War, you know, after fighting against England, no one wanted to have anything to do with an English ale. Yeah. So, but the German right. lagers were okay. Yeah. So they would, they would. Uh, that's what gave the lagers a foothold. Another thing is Americans like to drink. We like to drink in quantity. We're not so much concerned with quantity, with quality, but we want quantity. And so they found out if they brewed a lighter beer more Americans were willing to drink more of it. And as any person selling beer knows, you would rather them buy four beers than one or two. So that's one of the things that contributed to that. But you can go back well, to... Well, that's what we're here to change. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Going back Let's to... Let's stop uh, that right now. <laughs> Let's go back in time. Let's start you know, adding some exotic ingredients. We're not just going to add... You know, two row Munich, Vienna, and had the right. same strain of yeast, and only use Hollatower hops or whatever right. they're using. You know what I mean? Exactly. You've got to mix it up. Miller's got the th the triple hop process that they're yeah. advertising now. That means a whole three whole hops yeah. in what a barrel. I could do. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, but it, it's crazy. The first known recipe for beer is twenty five hundred to three thousand years old from the Middle East. It's actually a religious ceremony called the Hem to Ninkatsi. Yeah. And, you know, scientists are now, I mean, we've been told all along through history that what started man settling down was growing grain for bread. And that's what we started settling down on farming. And now more people are starting to come around to the fact that, no, it wasn't the bread, it was beer that got us to settle down and really start. Uh, farming and coming up with an agricultural uh, way of life. So beer has been one of those things that we've been blessed with for so many thousands of years. And every native culture, every culture on the planet has a native beverage using something. 
Um, whether, you know, if you go back to ancient Mesoamerican peoples, they had pulque, which was, you know, basically like what you would have from fermented uh, agave and cactus. In, and in India, they, they drink toddy, right. which is like fermented uh, coconut milk or exactly. coconut water. You know, and every culture right. on the planet has some fermented beverage that they've used, every one of them. So the, the aspect of not having a beer is... Is the anomaly, not the. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Let's drink some more beer. <laughs>